Hi everyone, Todd from Sideshow Effects once again, and today in this video I'm going to show you how to go through the installation procedure of our new Cubase Pro Profiles pack. Now there's a number of steps we need to go through to get it set up properly. It's a little bit different than the rest of our packs because it's using MIDI controls uh, for part of the profile, but if you follow through in the order that I'm doing them, you'll have no problem. So the first thing we want to do is to open up the Audio MIDI Setup application that uh, comes native on the Mac. It's usually in the Applications Utilities folder. I've got it open here. And you'll see a MIDI Studio uh, window. Um, the, the, I have a loop deck, so that, that's why this is here. You might not have this here. Uh, but you'll see this IAC driver node. So we'll double click that and uh, you may have a name show up here. Make sure it goes blank. Just delete whatever the name is there. And you see in our ports, there are no available ports in this one. So we're going to create a new port. Hit the plus sign. Double click this and select all. We're going to replace this name. We're going to call the first one. And it's going to be spelt the same way I'm typing it here with the capitals. Capital S T R E A M capital D, E, C, K, the number two, and D, capital D, A, W, stream deck to D, A, W. And then we're going to do a second one. Same thing, get rid of that name, and this is capital D, A, W, two, capital S, T, R, E, A, M, capital D, E, C, K, D, A, W, to stream deck. We click apply, and we're done with the audio MIDI setup. So I'll minimize that. The next thing we're going to do is install the shortcut file that comes shipped with the Sideshow FX Pro Profile Pack. Now your download will look similar to this. You'll have an icons folder, a key command folder, and a stream deck profile folder. So let's open up the key command folder. And of course, we're with this is the Mac installation. So in the Mac folder, this file here, the Sideshow FX Cubase Mac, XML is the key command folder that we need to install into the Cubase directory. And that directory is in your computer, users, your username, library, preferences, and is in your Cubase application folder. I'm, I've got uh, LE Elements uh, right here, but uh, whichever folder you're running Cubase, it will appear here under preferences. Open that up, go to presets, go to key commands that is where you're going to click and drag this folder into the key commands folder. I already have it there, so I don't need to do that. And once you have that in, we're going to launch Cubase. So now with Cubase open, we're going to go over to the Studio, Studio Setup menu. And we can see here under our MIDI port setup that we've got the DAW to Stream Deck and Stream Deck to DAW present here and we want to make sure that they're visible. Now, you may find if you do run into some issues, you may find you have to uh, turn the in all MIDI off here, as it could conflict with, uh, with a few things here and there. But you should be okay. But if you find some, some sort of communication errors, deselect those and you should be good. Now, while we're here, we want to add a device. So we're going to add a generic remote and we're going to import a generic remote file. So let's go import and we're going to navigate to our download from Sideshow Effects, the uh, Cubase Pro Profile folder again. And in the key command folder is a Sideshow Effects generic remote to XML. That is what we're going to import. Double click that. And in the MIDI input, pull down to Stream Deck to DAW and MIDI output. DAW to Stream Deck. Click Apply and say OK. And last thing we want to do is go over to Edit, go to the key commands, and in the Presets dialog box, because we installed our key commands folder before we opened Cubase, we should see our SideshowFX Cubase Mac key command file. We'll make that active, say OK. Let's hide that for a second. We're going to go to Stream Deck software now. And we're going to click on More Actions at the bottom here. And in the Search dialog, we're going to search for Cubase. 
Up pops this plugin. We're going to install this. And also in the search function, we'll type in MIDI. On the Mac, you should see two different ones. We're going to pick on, we're going to select the first one here and install. And that's done. We can close this out. And lastly, we're going to go to the preferences of Stream Deck and at the bottom dialog box, import. Once again, navigating to our download folder our Cubase Pro Profiles download folder. Inside is a Stream Deck profile folder. Open that up, there's Mac and Windows so on the Mac. We have two different profiles. One is for the regular 15 key and one is for the XL. I'm running an XL at the moment, so I'll double click that one. It'll take a few seconds for it to load up. And there we have the profile, and it's on our device, on our desktop. When we go into Cubase now and select any of the MIDI functions, which are the gray keys on our profile, you'll find that they will interact through MIDI with the Cubase program. You can select all your different tools. You can navigate the timeline. And in addition, there are more transport controls in the transport menu. There's quantized keys. There's punch in and punch out, mutes and solos, etc. And also in the track mix strip, if we open up mix console, which we have a shortcut here as well, and we select a track, we can control the volume level through the stream deck and the pan as well. In addition, the rest of the profile works on, on shortcut commands. So almost every shortcut command available in the program has been mapped into the profile. And as always, you can customize it to your particular workflow, move things around as you like to work. As always, visit us at sideshowfx.net and you can go to our support page. And if you're having any difficulties, feel free to reach out, send us a note, and we'll get back to you as soon as, soon as we can and help you out, get you up and running. Till then, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.